Hello my friends, welcome to another video and today I'm going to talk about the HANAR 8X and this is uh, a smartphone made by Huawei because Huawei is the mother company of uh, HANAR HANAR basically is the cheap alternative to Huawei devices so basically what uh, you get with uh, the HANAR 8X is the same thing as the Huawei Mate 20 Lite they are almost identical in every uh, single aspect with uh, some small differences in terms of design and uh, whatnot but uh, nothing dramatic nothing uh, out of the ordinary so this is the honor 8x this is how it looks it's a very nice smartphone if you ask me it's a smartphone that's uh, budget friendly or uh, if you want uh, budget oriented but it uh, does pack some uh, interesting things under the hood starting with the most obvious one the display this is a 6.5 inch LCD IPS display with uh, full HD plus resolution 1080 by uh, 2340 and it has a uh, pixel density of uh, 397 so as Apple would say this is a retina display what else we have a 16 uh, megapixel front facing camera that's capable of uh, 1080p video recording we also get a fingerprint sensor on the back and the main camera setup which is composed of a 20 megapixel RGB sensor with an uh, f1.8 aperture and a 2 megapixel secondary sensor that uh, gathers depth information especially when uh, using the camera to capture portrait uh, shots so uh, it's actually an interesting camera it uh, produces some interesting results nothing out of the ordinary nothing that uh, will blow you out but if you are uh, referring to this device and this uh, price category I would say that the camera is actually very good also this camera comes with um, Honor's uh, AI camera basically the AI part in this uh, camera setup doesn't do a lot of things it basically adjusts uh, the, expo the exposure um, the ISO levels and um, that's pretty much it nothing uh, out of the ordinary and uh, of course um, totally different compared to what you can find on Huawei cameras such as the camera on the Mate 20 Pro for example which is my main device my daily driver and uh, if you want to know about the Mate 20 Pro you can check it out on my channel I have a lot of videos made already with the Mate 20 Pro so go ahead check it out um, inside the Honor 8X we have a 3750 mAh battery that Huawei promises to last a long time uh, considering that it's uh, the same battery just like on the Huawei Mate 20 Lite I would say that you would get uh, roughly one day one and a half day of usage with the battery inside also you get a single speaker uh, that's uh, bottom firing you get uh, USB-C for uh, all your uh, needs in terms of charging transferring files and whatnot and you also have a headphone jack which on this device is not gone nothing else you just have the SIM tray right here on the left uh, it supports two nano SIMs and you can uh, take also micro SD cards up to 400 gigabytes in size this device comes with uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM but you can also buy it in um, 128 gigabytes of uh, storage with 6 gigabytes of RAM uh, configuration price is very roughly 50 euros is the difference between these two variants and uh, we also get a uh, high silicon Kirin 710 uh, CPU inside which is an octa-core CPU and it does a uh, good job is the same CPU just like on the Mate 20 Lite 
so um, the device feels uh, snappy enough and um, I hadn't had any issues so far uh, when using it. In terms of software we get uh, Android 8.1 with uh, EMUI 8.2 so um, hopefully for uh, those of you who buy this device you're gonna get uh, Android 9 Pie. Uh, basically I'm basing this uh, suggestion on the fact that lately Huawei has started to, to really push uh, firmer updates for their devices. And this is uh, considering the fact that uh, not long uh, ago, about two years ago, um, getting a software update on your Huawei device was, um, was a miracle, to be, to be honest with you. But lately, with uh, their latest flagships, and uh, not only their flagships, they're starting pushing and uh, rolling out uh, firmware updates for um, all their devices. So uh, hopefully you're gonna get Android 9 Pie on this one as soon as possible. Other than that, you have GPS, Bluetooth, um, um, what else? And all Wi-Fi. Uh, 4G, LTE, all the connectivity um, things that you need on a device like this. It's nothing out of the ordinary, this is a cheap phone, but the build quality is excellent for the price. The feeling hand also is excellent for the price point. And uh, I actually like the Honor 8X a lot more than I liked uh, the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. It just... Um, feels and looks to me better than the Mate 20 Lite. Although they are basically uh, identical, they are the same device. And um, also you can hide the notch if it bothers you. Uh, just go into settings, display, notch, hide notch. And uh, you can hide the notch if you don't like it. This is an interesting device and uh, this is for those of you who don't want to spend a lot of money on uh, this type of gadgets. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't want to have all the bells and whistles that uh, come on a uh, flagship device, such as the Mate 20 Pro, for example, which I have here. And uh, this one packs a lot of power, a lot of features, a lot of uh, everything. So if you're not a uh, tech enthusiast, if you're not uh, that kind of guy, a tech geek, and uh, you're just looking for a good smartphone at a very good price point, but with a lot of features included in the, in the price point, I would highly recommend you to give it a try, to try out the Honor uh, 8X. And if it uh, convinces you, uh, then uh, why not go ahead and buy it. This pretty much uh, does it for this video, guys. Um, this is the Honor 8X, an interesting, cheap, uh, budget-friendly device made by a sub-brand of Huawei called Honor that uh, sports a premium-like uh, build quality, very nice choice of materials, very nice screen, actually. I, I do like the screen. I have no issues with uh, with this display. I find it to be better than uh, the one on the Huawei Mate 20 Lite, actually. Um, good viewing angles. No big issues in terms of uh, color distortion or uh, whatnot. Um, the sound coming from the bottom uh, firing speaker is actually okay. It's not the best. It's not uh, something out of the ordinary, but it's good enough. Um, to uh, enjoy um, watching, uh, I don't know, videos on YouTube, listening to music or uh, things like that. The fact that you have a uh, micro SD card and you don't get uh, a nano memory card, which I consider it to be a uh, big mistake from uh, Huawei's part, it's another great thing. You get the headphone jack for those of you who, I don't know, didn't find out that uh, they're uh, are wireless headphones on the market, a very good and reliable uh, fingerprint scanner and as I said considering the price point I think I truly believe that this uh, camera setup is actually very very good. Again considering the price 
point, the price category. A very well-built, fast, uh, plenty of features inside and um, what can I say? Give it a try. See you in the next video. Until then, as always, my friends, thank you for watching. Be safe. Be good.